how we doing everybody? Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. <clears throat> First of all, I want to say thanks. I really appreciate it. Thanks, thanks, thanks from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of my subscribers, man. Without y'all, I would not be doing this. I honestly appreciate the support. I, I really do, guys and gals. If you're new to this channel, hey, look. Check out some of our videos. Uh, we got around 300 videos right now between the shorts and the, you know, the regular videos. We got around 300 videos. If you're new to this channel, check them out. Uh, if, if you like crappie, if you like uh, jigs, making your own jigs, the TCO community, we are for you guys and gals. <clears throat> and uh, we are all about crappie. From making hand tied jigs to catching crappie to guided crappie trips to cleaning crappie to cooking crappie y'all there ain't nothing better am i hey that's a ribeye or the prime rib of the of the lake to me y'all the lake the rivers and the creek is that crappie boy it ain't nothing better look here i want to apologize to everybody that's this reached out to me in the last couple of weeks <clears throat> you know left me messages I'm trying to to get back to everybody, but guys and gals, I've got thousands of thousands of comments and, and stuff. I, I'm not I haven't forgot about you. I promise you, I will get to you. It's just very hectic this time of year. I'm, I've been on the water six, seven days a week, doing my guided trips, and then I come in and I gotta sit here sometimes till two or three o'clock in the morning making jigs. And then I get up and do it all over again. So from September to September to end of April, 1st of May, is very, very, very busy for me. But anyway, <clears throat> look, this video right here is is to several people. They've asked me about how to select and cut their feathers, all right? And <clears throat> this right here is just regular neck hackle, y'all. That is neck hackle, all right? You get, I get this. You can get it at Barlow's. Sorry about that, guys and guys. I dropped that stuff in my room, but I suck it all up. Uh, <clears throat> this right here is just regular red neck hackle. Uh, this here is like variegated. It's different colors. It's fluorescent. Uh, it's chartreuse or fluorescent or, or fluorescent yellow and black. They have all kind of different colors, guys and gals. Pink and black, fluorescent, yellow and black, red. They have any color you can imagine, they got it. So I'm going to show you, instead of just, uh, t you know, sending a message back, say, this is how you do it. I'm going to show you how I do it. All right. You just got to pull them off. All right. They're all stuck together in there. All right. See how they come? You just pull them off of there. All right. They are strong up. You pull them off. All right. Now, some feathers, guys and gals. Once you start going through them, you'll see some of them are kind of one-sided. Uh -huh. Some of them don't have any feathers on one side. You cannot use those, guys and gals. Well, I don't. <clears throat> I mean, you just, you know, see how that one's one-sided right there? Uh -huh. <clears throat> you, you'll run across several, you know, in a pack, you know, that do not have any feathers on one side of the quill. If you run across something like that, it, just chunk them away. It's not, you know, it's not worth it. So... <clears throat> most of them, 90% of them, they will be good. But like, see, check this one out. That's a great example. See, that does not have anything on this side of the quill. So we're not going to use none of that. We're going to chunk that in the trash. All right. <clears throat> so let me show you how we cut these things and get them ready to tie, y'all. All right. <clears throat> That's just a regular red neck hackle feather. Grab that sucker by the very tip of it, y'all. Very tip. Take your fingers, spread it out. Look at that. Spread that sucker out. That way you can get down to the quill when you go to cut. All right? Now, the very tip of it, I'm going to say the, <clears throat> the first half inch. All right? You can see right there where my finger is. We're not going to be able to use that, okay? You can use it. We'll use that like on a on a 64, you know, a 60, 164th ounce head, something like that. But for, you know, bigger jigs, we do not want to use that. Uh, you see how it made that V'd pattern. Look at that. Man, it made a perfect V. All right. The rule of thumb is, guys and gals, 
This is what I do. I do time and a half the size of the, the length of the hook shank, okay? This right here is a 1 16th ounce head, okay? With a number four sickle hook, okay? Now, look at here. I got my tip cut off, okay? You see that you see that bead pattern on the end. The length of the hook plus another half, okay? That's how I determine my length. Okay? Now when we go to cutting, get you, that's where a good, you know, finessed pair of scissors come in handy. You don't want to cut into the feathers. You want to cut the quill, right? So you can pull, you see how I did that? I pulled it back to the quill, all right? I'm gonna cut that sucker, bam, all right? I'm gonna come on down, I'm gonna cut me another one, the same length, all right? I don't wanna cut none of my feathers. I go all the way to the quill and I cut it there. See, made a perfect V pattern, look at that. Okay, we're gonna come down here, we're gonna do it again, okay? Bam, we get to this stuff right here, <clears throat> I normally don't use that. The bottom of it, I'll put it like in a bag, you know, put it to the side. I might find something to use it later for, but tying a jig, I, I just really don't do it, y'all. So, all right. So out of that one feather, we got three good pieces, okay? Now, when I start stacking them, I stack the bottom downside. See that? See the hump in it? The middle one, okay, this particular jig, I'm going to put three. The middle one, I stack it opposite, okay? It's going to be facing up, okay? Now, the top one, I'm going to face it the same as the bottom one. I'm going to face it down, okay? So, get them stacked together. That way it gives you a bushy tail, you know what I'm saying? So you got you got the bottom one, it's half moon shaped like that. Top one is half moon shaped like that. Top one is half moon shaped like that. See what I'm saying? All right, now we got them all together. Take your fingers, all right, and pluck some of them feathers off of the top till you get down to that quill. Okay, you see how I got to that quill? I'm gonna take a few more off. When you do that, look at that. That gives you something good to tie to, okay? Now, let me set those off to the side. I was gonna hold them in my mouth, but a lot of people don't like that, okay? We're gonna wrap this sucker over a little tagline, then come back with it. When you go to tie this, when you go to set these feathers, guys and gals, don't just sense down. You know, don't don't tie real tight. You want to put a couple of wraps that are loose because if you don't, these feathers they're bad about moving on you guys and gals. All right, <clears throat> lay them right on the back of that hook sink, y'all. Straight on the back, okay? And get them straight, all right? You want all your Vs, you know, lined up straight with the hook sink. All right, we're gonna start, start time, put us some light wraps on there. Light wraps meaning, you know, I can move it around, all right? Cause this sucker will, they will jump around on you, y'all. And you don't want that. You want all you want your V's all to be lined up. Ooh, we look at that. Once you get it where you want it, <clears throat> then you start tying that sucker in, you know. Tie that sucker into that base layer. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and then we'll, you know, I use my little knot here, wrap it around them two fingers, twist. One, two, three, four. I do that because I do not use any adhesive, any type of glue or nothing. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I learned to tie with glue. Over the years, I got away from it, okay? Now, 
Look at that, guys and gals. Look at that. Now you are ready to begin. See how all them bees line straight up with that hook. Look at that. I can stick my finger in between there, and then V's line straight up with that hook. Oh, man, that is perfect, y'all. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, say you want to add some different color to it, all right? We'll go over here, do the same thing. Look, this here is, uh, just say chartreuse and black, all right? Hold it by the tip, spread that sucker out, okay? And you can, you'll be able to see that, that tip to cut off. Uh, you can see it right there. Look, we're going to cut it right there. Uh, that's what comes in handy with this peak vise, y'all. I'm not kidding you. I've had hundreds, hundreds of them. But that peak vise has got that handy-dandy accessory. Uh, little trash can you can hook to it. Now, look at that. Perfect V again, y'all. Time. The length of the hook plus another half of the hook, okay? We got it spread out. We got our V pattern. We're going to go straight to the quill, all right? Cut it. Bam. That's what it's going to look like, guys and gal. Look at that. That's what it's going to look like. Now, we're going to take, see how I pull them feathers off? That way. You can tie that quill perfect, y'all. We will lay that bad boy right on the top. Right on the top. Put you a couple of light wraps. I'm telling you, if you don't, that sucker will move on you. A couple of light wraps. Once you get it where you want it, then tie that bad boy down, y'all. Ooh-wee. Now check this out. Look at that. You can't even see it, but you can see yeah, it. Look, see, we mixed that sucker. We mixed it right with that red, y'all. Look at that. All our V's are lining up. I'm telling you, ooh, we. Hey, I may go ahead and make a jig after all out of that bad boy. But anyway, that's not the purpose of the video, guys and gals. I just wanted to show. That is how I do my feathers. <clears throat> At first, it is a little intimidating, but look, best thing to do if you're tying a lot of, of neck hackle jigs with feathers or any kind of feather, best thing to do is, is before you start tying jigs, cut all your feathers, all right? Just take you three or four hours and start cutting feathers, all right? Cut them to the length of the size of the hook you're using, all right? Put them in a Ziploc bag, or put them in a handy dandy container. That's what I do. Put them in a container. That way you got all your feathers in there. And when you get ready to tie, you can bring your heads over here. You can just reach in that container and get you some feathers. You're good to go. Guys and gals, I sure hope that helped y'all out. If you have any questions about this, please do not hesitate to reach out. Look, I sure appreciate y'all watching. Thanks so much, man. I'm telling you for support. And it, it warms my heart to be able to get these pictures, you know, people learning to tie jigs from my videos. Man, it's a blessing, y'all. I'm not kidding you. I actually had some pictures I was going to show today uh, from a guy that had made some jigs, but I don't know what I did while I'm printing them off. So the next video, I'm going to show y'all uh, some pictures of jigs that guys that have literally never tied a day in their life they started watching my channel and now they're tying their own jig so appreciate it guys y'all are doing awesome work y'all know who you are and i promise you i will show you your jigs in the next video god bless each and every one of y'all have a wonderful evening and we will see y'all next time